Every day we face little problems like when we want to buy souvenirs for our friends and have 30 euros, how many can we buy for 2 euros per piece? Or in the supermarket, how much will we be left with from a 20 if we buy cheese for 7 euros and salami for 6 euros? Or when will we have enough money to buy a new pair of trousers worth 100 euros if we have 40 euros in our pocket and put aside 2 euros every day? What about two pairs of trousers and so on? All those problems are solved with an equation. Any statement of an equality that contains numbers and at least one variable is called an equation. Variables are also called unknowns. A variable or an unknown is commonly denoted by the letter X. The values of the unknowns that satisfy the equality are called solutions of the equation. Determining those values of the variables that make the equality true is solving the equation. An equation is written as two expressions connected by an equal sign. The expressions on the two sides of the equal sign are called the left-hand side and right-hand side of the equation. Each side of an algebraic equation will contain one or more terms. For example, in a real-life situation you can imagine a seesaw for kids in a park. On one side is an older child and on the other side there are two kids waiting to try the seesaw. In that situation you can apply a simple equation. Or, an equation is often visualized as a scale with two arms that we want to balance. This is a simple equation that consists of one variable or a known, letter X, and three parameters. Numbers 2, 1 on the left-hand side and 11 on the right-hand side. It is useful here to say that a parameter is a quantity, a number, that influences the outcome of the equation. With different parameters, we can achieve a different solution for our equation. The solution to our equation would be the number 5. If we replace x with number 5, we would have... Generally, an equation of this form can be written as... In our example... So, in our example... And... The general solution of this equation, where a different than 0, and b different than 0, is... Let's put it to the test in our example. However, many times the right and left hand side of an equation may be a bit more complex, like in the following example. In order to overcome this complexity, we need to work in four steps. Step 1. Apply the distributive property. Step 2. We separate numbers from variables and knowns. The separation goes as follows. On the left-hand side of the equation, we transfer all the variables and knowns. It actually does not matter whether the variables and knowns are placed on the left or the right-hand side of the equal sign, but we tend to prefer the left. On the other, the right-hand side, we transfer all the numbers. Whatever the case, when a term changes side, it also changes its sign. Step 3. Do the adding and or subtracting in each side of the equation. Step 4. Divide both sides of the equation by the parameter of x, in our example with the number 2. We have taken for granted that a is different than 0 when b is different than 0 in the final form of our equation until now. Let's see what happens when a equals 0 and b equals 0. When a equals 0 and b equals 0, we have, which is true for every real number we give to x, and it is not always that obvious. Let's try to solve this equation. Soon, we end up to... Let's see what happens when b equals 0 and a is different than 0. When a is different than 0, we have... That means that x has to be 0 as well. And x equals 0 is the solution to our equation. Let's see what happens when a equals 0 and b is different than 0. When a equals 0 and b is different than 0, we have... Which is practically impossible for real numbers. Every x multiplied by 0 will give product of 0, leaving us with... 
but we have accepted that b is different than zero, that means that our equation is impossible, it has no solution.